greetings. This is the start of the GIF tutorial. Um, working with, uh, we've got the images here, and we're now going to be working with removing the background from the objects. The three images that I've got are the panda, uh, DJ desk, and crowd. So I'm going to show you first by starting to edit with um, the actual physical panda. Uh, you would open up GIMP, uh, GNU Image Manipulation Program. Uh, known as GIMP, so you would edit it with that application. You'll notice I'm running 2.10, I think at the, you might be running an older version, but it's the same sort of thing. Um, I like to work on a single window mode. If a single window mode is off, it separates the toolbar and then this at the next thing. Personally, I just prefer it in a single window mode, but um, I'm not sure if all the older versions have that option. But anyway, uh, what I'm gonna do is you'll first work with your toolbox. We wanna remove the background from this. So what we're going to do is we're going to have to work with our layers and separate the layers into different, uh, so separate, sometimes the layers are at the top of the screen, um, that side, uh, <laughs> uh, and you would layer it on there. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the selection tools. Now there's a couple of different selection tools. There's the lasso. Now the lasso, I, if the background was into a single color, I could just go around and I could select the panda out manually. Going click, 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 click. It would take quite a while, but I could select the whole entire panda and I could select the panda, which would then I could do the next web step, which I'll show you now. But in this case, I've got a white background because I chose a nice um, image that has a white background. So I can use the magic tool. Now, the magic wand, magic selector, will do it on a color. Now, you see here's a threshold, meaning that it's within the range of 0 uh, 15 within the color white. So it will select all color that's within the 15 range. So I'm going to tap that. You'll see it selects all the whites surrounding. So whenever it's clear white through there, it will select the object. If I wanted to add to it, I would hold in shift and I could select another object to it. But I'm not going to add to it in this case. I'm just going to select the white background. But shift and click would add additional layers to it. Now I don't want to select the outside. I want to select the actual panda. So what I do is I right click and I say my selection and I'll change that to be reverse. Um, invert, sorry which means it will be the exact opposite so instead of selecting the outside of the panda, it's now selected the actual panda. So now on the panda, I can right click and I can say for the selection, I want to float the selection, which you'll see will add it to a new layer on your right hand side here. When I right click on this and I go to new layer, you'll see there now that I've got a panda layer. I can also now delete the background. So when I delete this layer, you'll see that now I've just got the panda with no background to it. So he can be more, um, you can work directly with that. Now, I'm going to continue editing this panda by removing the, the bamboo from there. I'm not gonna do that in this and in this video. The only thing I wanna show you in this video is if, for example, I wanted to make the canvas bigger, I could go to image and I could scale the image or go canvas size and I could change the canvas. So if I link the two, this just means it'll be in a ratio and I could make the canvas bigger. Or, and, and also so then I could resize the canvas to make it larger so and it could make a bigger background or bigger whatever so I can work with my final image along those lines. Okay, but right in this case I think we would just crop it a little bit. So to crop it you would choose um, one of these tools over here, it's this tool over here and you can select the area you want to crop. Crop means to make it smaller to fit the size of whatever you want to. So I'm going to in this case crop it to, I'm going to get rid of that bamboo anyway. So um, let's just crop it to uh, that we can, that's the nice thing about this, it isn't final, we can continue editing it until we're ready. When we're ready, we just double click and then we've cropped it to be what we want. Okay, that's the end of this video. Um, in the next more detailed video, if you want to look on this section, um, you can go into uh, the next link below. Enjoy that. Well, good luck with your editing.